In addition to causing the predictable prevailing wind patterns present near the ground, interactions between the large atmospheric convection cells and the Coriolis effect create strong concentrated jets of air near the top of the troposphere where the convection cells meet. These jets of air in the upper atmosphere are created as the air at the interface of each convection cell meets and this mixing air is deflected by the Coriolis effect. The jet streams that forms between the polar and feral cells is called the polar jet. It is a relatively small region of fast moving air near the top of the troposphere. The jet can be thought of as a fast moving river of air flowing through a sea of slower moving air. The jet flows west to east across the upper atmosphere where the two cells meet. The path of the polar jet is centered around 60 degrees latitude, but as it travels from west to east, the band of fast moving air meanders north and south creating waves. There is a polar jet in both the northern and southern hemispheres. The position of the jet streams are not constant. In addition to the meanders north and south, the overall position of each jet stream changes with the seasons following the sun so that both move further south during the winter in the northern hemisphere and north during the winter in the southern hemisphere. In addition to the polar jets, there are jet streams where the Halley and Ferrell cells meet. These are the subtropical jets. They are not as strong or as concentrated as the polar jets because the jets derive their strength from the temperature difference between the masses of air in each convection cell, and this temperature difference is less pronounced closer to the equator. The fact that the Coriolis effect is less strong closer to the equator also contributes to the difference in strength between the polar and subtropical jets. The north and south meanders behave like waves and propagate eastward over time. Since temperature differences between the air and the convection cells influence the strength of the jet stream, the polar jets tend to be stronger during the wintertime. Weather conditions are influenced by the position of the polar jet stream, with weather typically being warmer and wetter on the feral side of the polar jet and cooler and drier on the polar side. As the peaks and troughs in the jet stream move eastward, so do the weather conditions on either side of the interface.